Good morning, people of the internet. Welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to a long-awaited baking video. Today, we are baking with something that I am so, so, so excited about. We are baking with ruby chocolate. First time I've ever made anything with ruby chocolate. It's the first time I've tasted ruby chocolate properly. I'm so excited. This video is all thanks to the wonderful ladies at Creighton's Chocolate or Chocolaterie. If you've been on the channel before, you might remember this video, which featured some delicious and very interesting, fun Creighton's chocolate. Creighton's have been kind enough to send me a few bars of their new millennial pink chocolate bar. Now this is their first foray into the world of ruby chocolate. If you're unfamiliar with ruby chocolate, it's a newly discovered kind of chocolate made with a completely new kind of cocoa. You'll be familiar with dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, and perhaps even blonde chocolate, which is really just caramelized white chocolate. But this is ruby chocolate made with an entirely different kind of cocoa bean. I am so excited. Not gonna lie, I have already tasted this chocolate. I've been nibbling some this morning. It's absolutely beautiful. So just to give you a close up of the color, it's this gorgeous kind of blushing rose pink color. It tastes creamy and sweet, a little bit kind of similar to white chocolate, but it has this undeniably kind of tangy, almost berry or yogurt flavor to it. It's so exciting. It's brand new. There's nothing like it. If I was to give it to you, you'd probably think it was a flavored chocolate. It's that different to anything you've had before. The closest thing I've had recently is Kit Kat's attempt at ruby chocolate, which was, you know, it was good, but it didn't really give you the full experience because it was just kind of a wafer bar instead. This is the real deal. Creighton's have nailed it with this millennial pink bar, and I am so excited to be baking with it today. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the recipe for some ruby chocolate cupcakes. See you soon. I'm so happy with how these turned out. I'm about to deliver these to some very lucky people, but just to show you these ruby cupcakes, how good did they look? So the sponge didn't really bake up that pink, but I don't really mind. I just baked up a kind of nice sort of pinky beige color. And then we have that gorgeous ruby chocolate icing, which I cannot tell you how much it tastes of ruby chocolate. It's thick, it's sweet. It's got all the tanginess from the chocolate and the icing has absolutely no food coloring in it. That is all natural. And then of course, some delicious slabs of ruby chocolate from Creighton's on top. I am delighted. I am very full of sugar, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can get the full recipe for these ruby chocolate cupcakes in the description box below, as well as checking out my full review of Creighton's Millennial Pink Ruby Chocolate Bar. I mean, 
it's amazing. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and do check out Creighton's Chocolate if you live in the UK. They're making some seriously good stuff. They're not even paying me to say that. A huge thank you to you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But until next time, when I'm sure I'll be back with some more junk food reviews for you guys, and we will take some cakes to some very happy people. See you later.